Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you track height locking in Reaper. Now, if you're like me, you like to have your tracks at different heights based on their importance in the song. So, I have a track in front of me here with a bunch of drums, a bass track, a bunch of guitars, a lead vocal, and some background vocals. But as you can see, I made some tracks bigger than others. It makes it a lot easier so you can see the kick, the snare, the bass, a lot more importantly than the tom tracks or the overheads. And the same thing with the guitars. These two tracks are bigger than the rest of them. And the same with the vocal. The lead vocal is a lot bigger. So if I want to zoom in very quickly, I can see the waveforms without having to change the height of this track. But there's one problem with that. If we decide to zoom in vertically, it's going to mess up all those track heights. So if I use my mouse to zoom in, notice what happens. All my tracks are now the same height. So I can't easily get back to what I had before. And sometimes you want to lock the height of your most important tracks. I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, I want to show you something in screen sets. If we go to view and go down here to screen sets, I've already saved the previous height of all my tracks right over here. So if I double click it, it all goes back to what I just had before. So I like to use that as my track height default. So I can go back to it at any point using the keystroke I set up over here, F4. Now, another thing I like to do to get back to a previous zoom is set up a keyboard shortcut to perform that action. So, if we go to Actions, Show Action List, and I'm going to type in Previous Zoom, we can see I set up a keystroke right here to restore the previous zoom level. So, at any point, if I make this bigger and I lose the previous zoom, I can hit that keystroke multiple times. To get back to my previous zoom level, or I could use the screen set that I saved, which I saved so to recall my track control panel height. So I get it back very quickly using that keystroke. But let's get back to locking our track heights. So, one of the things I want to do is lock the track heights of my most important tracks. And there's a few different ways of doing that. The first way is just select the track, go to the track menu, and go down here to lock track height. Now the track height is locked just for this track. So if I zoom in to get really close, all the other tracks get bigger, but not this one. Or if I zoom out, all the other tracks get smaller, but not this one, because this track is locked. Now if we want to change the height, we can still change it right here. Just grab it and make it the height we want. But if we use the action to zoom in vertically, which is right here, zoom vertically using the mouse wheel, it's not going to affect this track either way. And the same thing with keystrokes. By default, page up and page down is going to readjust the track heights, but it's only going to work for the tracks that are unlocked. So if I go page up, all the tracks get bigger except for the locked one. Or page down, same thing. So let's go back to my screen set. And let's try locking a few other tracks. I'm going to do my snare, my bass, these two guitars, which are a bit bigger than these, and finally my vocal. Just select them all. And instead of going to the track menu, we can just right click it and go down here to lock track height. And once again, if I zoom in vertically, it only affects the tracks that are unlocked. If I zoom in or zoom out, it doesn't affect the locked tracks. So we can make them bigger or smaller very easily. Let's go back to my screen set. And we can also see which tracks are locked by going to the track manager right down here. And we can see. All our tracks here 
And over here is height lock. So I could select them all, unlock them, or just lock the ones we want locked. The kick snare, the bass, these two guitars, and my vocal. Now we could also lock them, or lock the track height using a keystroke. Let's go to our actions, and let's type in the filter, lock track height. And right over here, we could toggle to lock and unlock the track height using a keystroke. Let's assign one here. I'm going to use Control L. And now I can select this track, this track, my bass and guitars, and my lead vocal. Hit that keystroke, and those tracks are locked. So now if I zoom in or out, it doesn't affect those locked tracks. And I could unlock them just as easily. Select them, hit that keystroke, and now I can adjust them. And they will change the track height when I make the adjustment. Using the mouse, or page up, or page down. Let's go back to my default. And I want to mention one other thing. If you want to adjust the track heights for all the tracks, but keep them relative to each other, so instead of them moving to the same track height every time, either smaller or bigger. We could instead select all the tracks, select all, and use the action right over here, which is going to adjust just the selected track heights with our mouse wheel, which is normally used when we select one track, use that action with the mouse, and it'll change the track height just for that one track, or any tracks we select. These two, or these three. But if you notice, they stay in proportion to each other or relative. So now, go back to our screen set, just select them all and use that action, and they get smaller and bigger, but they stay in proportion to each other. So my kick and snare are always bigger than the rest of the drums, or the bass, or these guitars, or the vocals. It's just another good action to know. So that's pretty much it. That's track height locking in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.